How you doing? Pretty good. Uh, can I get a small flat white to go? Perfect. Take him. All right, well, we made it. This is our last official week. Next vlog's gonna be crazy. You're, gonna, you're all gonna find it hilarious. But this week's priorities, to get things done and to actually cement all the work that we've done here in New York already. Launching WhatsApp integration. That's gonna be crazy, by the way. More details to come on that. But then second of all, been dealing with a few angel investors which are gonna come on board as well, which is super sick. Getting people on my team, on my cap table, who are actually gonna like help me move forward over the next few years. Coffee's leaking. Oh. But today's priority, most importantly, coffee, done. Number two, we're building out this WhatsApp integration. I've built it all the way up to the point where you can assign a new WhatsApp connection, you can like do all of that and it's really, really nice. Now we just need to process a payment and actually add the new user into the WhatsApp account. That's all we're gonna do. And then we can put it out. So yeah, let's go build it. Let me catch you guys up. We are quite literally like going to be one of the first, if not the first, fully automated WhatsApp solution for paid communities in the world, which is insane. What we're building right now is tools. They're things that allow people to come in, monetize on the platform where they are, and start making revenue for their paid community, but also like build a community in a very natural way. There's no new platforms to download, but I realized that that is only like seven to 10% of what we're going to build here at Sub. Like it's nothing because there is so much more, especially when it comes to discoverability, when it comes to inviting new people to the platform through affiliate style, whatever that looks like. There's also so much work to be done in potentially a dedicated solution for people if they don't fit into the kind of Slack persona or the WhatsApp persona or whatever that might look like. There's so, so many things that we're gonna have to build over the next year or so and not being in New York is gonna make that a different challenge because you know New York's the place where you can meet a lot of people. You can all of a sudden be like in a bar and you're like talking to like 100 VCs that love what you're doing and they're in your exact creator economy space. And saying that, the place that we're going is arguably number two in the world for that. Man, I'm gonna miss this desk, in fact. You know what I need to do? I gotta, I gotta do the old. No one will ever know. If you get the privilege of using this desk, then good on you. Good karma comes with it. Great, great sunlight too. <laughs> coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> what are they? Okay, introducing how I built the WhatsApp integration and no, I did not just stuff it all into my back end. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. What I did instead was I created a new microservice specifically for WhatsApp and this is how that works. If I can get rid of any of this, what, did someone use permanent marker on here? Okay, so the way that it has worked for so long was we had our front end and that would talk to our back end. Pretty simple stuff, right? Front end talking to your back end. And in this case, if you're wondering, Next.js, Nest.js. Now what I've done is I've actually got this separate little instance right here called a WhatsApp microservice. And this is literally responsible for only a couple of things. The first thing being an auto connection function, which allows a user to scan a QR code. Actually, one step back. First, the user comes in, they go, I wanna to connect to my WhatsApp account. 
So we send a request to the backend, which then sends a request to the WhatsApp microservice to spin up a virtual instance of a WhatsApp client. That's over in the cloud somewhere and it's only ever gonna be open and available for five minutes. So you might remember a few weeks ago, I was investigating first how I was gonna implement this WhatsApp sequence. And originally I was looking into WebSockets. Now I don't know if you guys use WebSockets or not. I've decided I don't really like them. They open up this essential connection between your front end and your back end, or on, honestly, you could even do your back end between another back end as well. I didn't really like it. It seems like it was very breaky and things kind of almost like fell over every now and then if the connection failed or anything like that. I'm actually just now using standard REST kind of practices between everything and everything's asynchronous. So you don't need to wait for something to happen. It's just like gonna be polling and makes things way easier. So that's what I'm doing if you're wondering. But now we've got a case where the user comes in, they wanna to connect to their WhatsApp account. They send a request to get a connection instance. And all we're doing is we're spinning up a brand new WhatsApp instance in the cloud somewhere. And that's gonna return us a scannable QR code in a string format, which we then render on the front end to a QR code. This is actually giving us admin access to that person's WhatsApp account momentarily for about three seconds, maybe even less, while we either add a new group or connect an existing group. Now, if we're doing an add group and we create a new group, we're gonna send a request to the WhatsApp instance, where we're gonna create a group, we're gonna assign an admin, we're going to update some settings inside that group, then we're gonna save that data back to the back end, and then we're gonna close down the instance and return a success message to the front end. That's the create method. On the existing group method, where we wanna actually connect an existing group chat, you might have a thousand people in it already, all we're doing, same deal, you're coming through, you're granting admin access for about two seconds. We're going to then return a list of all the available group chats that you have right now, but specifically groups. It can't just be like DMs between one person, it's gotta be a group. And then you're going to select which group you want to specifically connect, you send that back. This will only ever be open a maximum of five minutes. If it doesn't do anything within five minutes or you take too long to do your request, it's gonna shut down, you're gonna have to start all over again. So that just means that we're not just keeping these clients open, one, for cost and spend, imagine like the AWS bill if we kept this open for like ever, and also, it's just security. We don't wanna be keeping people's stuff open for too long. So yeah, that's the automatic method. If you prefer not to do that, we actually do have a manual method. I just need to implement that because it requires a little bit more kind of stuff in the background. Last thing on this microservice as well, why would I use a microservice instead of just putting it straight into a backend? Well, stability and also security. We don't want this crashing to break our entire sub app and affect all the Slack users, all the Discord users, all the Telegram users, just because the WhatsApp instance is breaking. It also means that I can assign its own memory to this specific backend instance, especially when we're dealing with virtual instances of WhatsApp clients in the cloud. We don't wanna be piling that onto our existing backend, otherwise this is gonna get very bloated and expensive. That's the microservice strategy. Front end, back end, microservice, good to go. Hopefully we can get this out by the end of the week. Oh, last thing as well. Just so this makes sense, when someone actually does a purchase and they Apple pay on the front end, it comes through the back end, and then we have a purchase event, this will be responsible for assigning that user to the group chat as well. So we're actually handling all that logic here now as well, which is really, really cool. In most other cases, the Slack, Telegram, and Discord stuff is actually happening here, but WhatsApp's gonna have its own instance. So yeah, pretty cool. It's been a fun project. system instance of WhatsApp, it's gonna be essentially my admin numbers. I'm also gonna have a backup instance in case anything happens to that admin phone number. But in essence, this is gonna be the one like single core place that all admin actions and interactions can occur. And that'll be in the microservice. So anytime we need to add or remove a new user from a specific WhatsApp group, 
we'll handle that inside the WhatsApp microservice. And so that'll all be done for us. So yeah, that's kind of the next thing to set up. Otherwise, flat white, or are we doing ice latte? Ooh, I don't know. following is so deep heavy they really get the nitty-gritty of it but I yeah. think this is more like a lighter touch on what it's like to, to run a startup yeah that's all it is it's just like the day-to-day -day of what it's like to run a startup and like people get to see inside that because not everyone gets exposed to that and I think it's quite interesting yeah so we're starting this new social strategy and this isn't just like social media strategy where you like put out a post and you get one like on it no 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 we're going for like virality without trying to be viral if you know what i mean so new social short form strategy specifically youtube shorts and instagram where we're going to start doing more of what we do here on this channel but in short form bite-sized content but specifically to kind of like cater towards people that are interested in building startups that can also relate to content creators and consumers. So it's kind of like, how do we forge this gap for a social media strategy where we can grow our presence so people know more about Sub and what we're building. But at the same time, as like a content creator, you discover us and you go, oh my gosh, there's like this new way to monetize. Sub's the new thing, I gotta get on that. So yeah, expect to see more social content coming out. We're gonna get the little DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I think that's the model of what it's called so sick it's like this big uh, you guys have probably seen it but it's just going to mean that we can like film anywhere anytime there's no heavy camera like this ready to go we'll still vlog on this but like for short form fast content i think it's going to be a game changer so yeah it's going to be very very cool that strategy is going to help us just get way more exposure and also it'll probably help with like new funding and such going later into the end of this year when we actually want to start potentially looking at like seed and raising more funds as well which is an entire process i've like barely talked about on this channel if you guys want to hear more about the kind of like raising funds and like angels and like choosing really cool strategic people for your cap table let me know in the comments and maybe we'll talk about it more otherwise we're gonna get back to work i got three meetings today yeah we need to we need to finish this whatsapp integration i need to set up that microservice so that it keeps the persistent thing let's go yeah just got off a call two back-to-back -back calls one Super cool business guy based in the States, mutual connection put us in touch, potential angel as well, but just like runs a very successful marketing business, which is really cool. Um, and also is just like very interested in what we're doing. So that's great connection. Number two call right after was with, sorry, I just had three calls. I forgot the first one completely. Number three call was with so someone who was coming onto sub, but originally they were coming in to use the Slack integration. Yeah, for her community, it's like a marketing specific community and they were originally gonna to come to Slack. And so super excited. That's where the initial conversation started with our Slack integration. But since talking with some friends who are actually on Discord running communities on Discord, paid communities, they were like, nah, come to Discord. And so she was just signed up to Discord and we've just helped set it all up, um, which has been really cool. And so if it's fully integrated with sub, she charges like a few hundred dollars a month. So she's like very valuable, high quality clients. And um, yeah, it's just a case where we're gonna get her on board in the next few days, hopefully just after July 4th and the holidays. Good day, very productive. In the meantime, I've realized there is just a crap ton of work to do on Discord to get that to a place where it's launchable. <sighs> so yeah, there's a lot to do. And it's July 4th in two days. Looks like I'm working during the fireworks, boys. There's a case now where I've realized that I need a way very fast to be able to manage 
admin WhatsApp connected clients. Now those are the kind of clients that can manage everyone's groups and anyone who is being added to those groups and removed from those groups. And if one WhatsApp client of mine gets like, for example, banned or something, I need to be able to quickly add a new one in as like a backup and as like a second backup and such. So yeah, there's a lot of backlog work I realized I need to do in order to be able to actually push the kind of upfront WhatsApp functionality. If I can just add this into kind of, I've got this admin console in the background. If I can just add some quick, quick logic to connect a new WhatsApp instance and then assign that as like the primary like agent that does all the background work, then that'll be really good. It's stuff like this that you don't realize right till the end is like something you really need to build until you're thinking about launching. So yeah, anyway, we're getting there. Let's go eat some food and we'll continue it tomorrow.